get you a front center. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Ten students graduated from this year's camp bailout. The camp is hosted by the Ashland Fire Department. Thanks for uh, volunteering your daughters to do this week of camp. That was great. But I just want to recognize the instructors. Lynn did. But on my behalf, thank you very much. And I'd like to recognize Lieutenant Morihan. There's a lot of work that was put into this. Uh, she starts months ago to, uh, to get this all prepared and stuff. So thank you, Lieutenant. I appreciate it. I liked going to UMass. I liked rappelling and I liked boating. I liked the rappelling a lot because we got to go up from the top of the building. The camp allows teenage girls between 12 and 19 to explore what it's like to work in the fire and emergency medical service professions. At UMass, we learned about Life Flight and what the nurses, doctors, and paramedics do there. Yeah, we also at Life Flight got to see the helicopter land, and so that was cool. And we got to learn about what happened with, like, how long it takes them to get victims sometimes, because it took them two hours when they thought it'd only take 20 minutes. <laughs> Participants in the camp had the opportunity to learn and use equipment as well as talk to industry professionals. Uh, the students were great. Um, they all worked very well together. They worked with us. They were very receptive, asked lots of questions, and uh, I think they learned a lot. 2016 Camp Bailout program was probably one of the most successful so far. We had uh, 10 students, and they were a little bit older this year, which what I was gearing it towards. Uh, and it really worked out great. Uh, they, they bonded very quickly, which was a huge advantage, it made things a whole lot easier for both them and for us. Uh, but we started right out of the gate. Monday we did uh, some fire extinguisher training, we did some engine operation hose handling, and then ladder operations too. Uh, Tuesday we went right into auto extrication, jaws of life training, uh, then we did some boat operations in the afternoon, which was great because it was so hot. The girls got an opportunity to cool down in the reservoir. Wednesday, we, we did a little bit of a road trip, went out to UMass Memorial in Worcester, and they got a tour of the trauma facility. Uh, Life flight came in. They got a, a tour of the helicopter, uh, the ground ambulance, and the comms area where the 911 and all the calls come in. So that took us all morning. We didn't get back here till about 2 o'clock. Uh, and then we made up that time a little bit of team building exercises. Uh, Thursday was all day rappelling. We, we, we did, uh, the, the girls did rappelling out of the second and third story uh, windows and then they actually learned how to actually climb up and work together as a team hauling. So that whole day was spent uh, rappelling which is always one of the highlights of the week. And then Friday we, we kind of did a little bit of everything. We went back with EMS uh, talk to the girls about different kind of medical emergencies that they may come across, how to handle it, and, and also uh, we had a friend of mine who has a service canine. He came and he did some demos with his search and rescue canine, uh, which is, is obviously very close to my heart because I retired my own search and rescue canine two years ago. And this gentleman and myself are on the same team, so he was nice enough to come and with his new dog and give a demo. And we had some of the girls hide and his dog find them, so that was a lot of fun uh, for the last day. And then we ended uh, today with a, a challenge course. We put everything that the girls learned over the week, we put it together, and then we challenged them and timed them. So uh, it was a nice competitive way to end the, the week, and, and they were up for the challenge. This particular group, they didn't back down, uh, back down from anything. Everything that we threw at them, they, they were up for it, and they gave us 110%. So uh, I have to say it was a very successful week, uh, and the girls made it very easy for us to teach, and they were very adaptable, and they were very, uh, I guess you could say, sponges at this point. They, they really absorbed a lot of the information that we, we gave them. We threw a lot at them and they loved it. So um, I would have to say, for me, this is definitely one of the, the favorite years and groups that I've had to teach so far. And I, I think that I'm going to speak for my staff too with that. Uh, yeah, the experience was great, as, uh, as always. The campers this year, the programmers this year were great. Um, it was very successful, very fun, hot, but it was, and, it was um, good. 
Minus the IT guy, how'd you like working with the uh, other instructors? Uh, the other instructors are great. I work with uh, Heather and Lynn doing mutual aid calls. Um, so it's really nice to get to work with Laurie and uh, Meg, who we don't see uh, except for during the week. One student from Hopkinton stated she is highly considering a career in emergency medical services. I want to be a paramedic when I'm older, or a nurse. Uh, so the program's uh, becoming nationwide. Uh, hopefully it'll draw more, more girls in so we can get them into the uh, emergency service.